Peace and blessings, everybody. going on text in the chat hi moses peace happy sunday sunday afternoon let's get a little engagement where, where's everybody from where's everybody from hi moses where, where are you from i still put in the chat Let's get some some engagement going on. For those who are watching, where are you based off of? Don't be shy. Like, comment, subscribe. All right, Chicago, Chi Town, peace. What's up? Anybody else? Okay, we got LA. Peace. Whoa, baby from LA. Represent. Fly guy. Fly guy. I never. I don't think you ever told us where where you based off of. Augusta, Georgia. What's up? I'm in Atlanta. NYC, the natural role, the natural Ali, one, peace and blessings. That's what's up. So we got folks from the East Coast, the West, the South. Loving it. Loving it already. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. If you know anybody else that would that's interested in black nationalism, we got a got an interesting topic. Taking my ball and going home. <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all saw the thumbnails like, what in the world? <laughs> this wasn't my idea, but I love the concept of it. <laughs> Hilarious. Going to have a few people join on in. Just sit tight. Brief minute. It's not going to take forever. But um, yeah, yeah. What did you What did y'all think about the uh, the versus battle? Might as well get a small little topic in with uh, Big Daddy Kane and, and KRS. Who did y'all favor out of that? Okay, TY said KRS one. Fly guy, it was um it was a uh, Big Daddy Kane versus uh KRS one. Whoa baby said I prefer Kane lyrically. Peace fan represented it. Darius Peace, Peace Hollow. Imosis says Kane took it. His flow and delivery was clear and on point. Yeah, yeah. Had everything on point. <laughs> Came in fashionably late. <laughs> K 
came one on breath control <laughs> on breath control alone. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wanted Rakim to battle Kane, but Rakim doesn't battle. You know what's so funny? Holop said the same thing. And I said, you know what? Because they did have um some beef going on back 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 in their uh era. Karis one had to rely on the crowd participation for verses because he was winded. <laughs> You can tell. <laughs> I guess the knowledge did not reign supreme that day. <laughs> not a beef, just a friendly comp. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it was just competition between Rakim and um and KRS. All right. Yeah, I, it, for me, it was just great to see both of them, you know, battle and, ju and just seeing them rap again. Like, that's all. But um, let's jump right into it. We got some guests coming on soon. Topic of today is taking my ball and going home. And this topic really... Uh, sheds light on, you know, you always got that one person in a group where they have an idea, right? Or they have a, a strategy and they, 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 they want to be the spotlight. They want their, you know, their innovative ways of thinking or whatever to be front and center. And if if it doesn't go their way or so, then it's just like, well, this whole operation's over. Y'all guys can't run it without me. You know, it, it's that selfishness attitude of me, myself, and I, and then you guys, versus you know, as a as a we, as a collective thing, a collective issue. So that's what we're here to talk about. Because you, you see it, you see it in groups, right? I mean, th this could vary from different aspects of life, whether it's a, whether it's sports, whether it's a, a business, um, or just a regular, you know, organization. You always have that one person, or or just that few, you know, that have this mentality when it comes to to working together, and you have so many people that are used to this solo dolo mindset, you know, so that that's, that's what the topic is today. Um, it's kind of curious. What, what are you guys' thoughts when it comes to, you know, just, everybody being an individual, you know, having an individual mindset. But then when they come to a, a group activity or a group organization, they carry that with them and it ends up, you know, not turning out so well. Like, what are your guys' thoughts when it comes to, well, matter of fact, have you ever came across, you know, situations like that? where a person was just solo, you know, and peace, Bruce Leroy, where a person's just solo and they, they take that within the group and it ends up fucking up everything. <laughs> or they just killed the vibe, you know, like, I'm pretty sure we all have had experiences with that. Fly guys is problematic, right? I totally agree. I totally agree. It takes humility and listening and seeking common ground. I agree, osmosis. 
definitely takes, you know, humility, listening. And, and it's tough for some people. This is actually a common problem. Like, this is, you know, this is something that should be talked about a lot. Everybody is is looking at things, you know, oh, I got to do it all by myself without, you know, just being real, being authentic. Bruce Leroy says, personally, I'm against her mentality. Well, ex ex expand on that, Bruce. Why are you against it? Sorry about that. Hold on, I just had a notification. But yeah, like this is this is to me this is something that should be should be talked about and and just discussed because I've came across, you know, certain groups where you always have that one person that just wants their whole DNA implemented on this brand or so. And it's it's like, well, damn, you, you could have just, you know, did it yourself <laughs> or whatever. And it, I will say even slows the... Uh, to me, it slows the the growth or what it could have been. You know, you, you, we all know the saying of, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. You know, so this is something. Key Swahili said, there has to be a balance between unity and individuality. Mm. Hello, what's going on? Yo, what's Pete? the deal? Nothing much, man. Nothing much. For some reason, I thought that that overlay that I just sent you was on the BAIO thing when everybody sets up the show, but apparently it, it seems like it's different for each person. Yeah. Like when Jabari sets it up, he doesn't get any of the stuff that I have set up when I log in, which is strange but mm -hmm. but I, I figure i give that to you and then i give it to him as well so that way y'all can put it there have the overlay playing or oh, in the background yeah but yeah I um um there's a lot i could say about this <laughs> This this is like the story of my life. <laughs> the story of your life? Yeah, yeah. It's like... <laughs> and, and it's frustrating because I didn't think that we would be a victim of that. You right. know? Right. And that I think that was the most disappointing thing is that um we ended up we we had so many examples before us. But see, then again, it depends on if you got honest players involved. Mm -hmm. Some people are in things for the wrong reasons. You know what I mean? Like you, it's like you have a girl and she has a bunch of girlfriends. But if you notice, all the girlfriends don't look as good as she does because she wants to stand out. <laughs> So she keeps she keeps girls that she knows is not in her league around her because it makes her stand out and she makes don't want to be around out. girls who's equal or better than she is. So they're friends, but are they really friends? Right. You know, friends that's just understand. yeah, that's just an example of what I mean by just because somebody's running with you, it doesn't mean that they don't have their own personal agendas. Right. And that's the thing, because 
it's like we have the BAI. BAIO stands for Land Infrastructure Nationhood. That's our principles. That's what our goals is. That's what we feel the solution is. So somebody within the group, and it usually happens like this. Somebody will come in all gung-ho, you know, don't get a chance to get to know anybody. Don't take the time for anybody to know them. They got all these plans and this and that, and then they jump in or like a hundred miles and running. And everybody's like, whoa, slow down. Like, who are you? And they don't want to socialize. They, they socially awkward. And then eventually what they do is they get frustrated because things ain't moving fast enough. And then they'll go and they'll form their own BAIO with land infrastructure nationhood. So then you got <laughs> two organizations saying the exact same goddamn thing. Damn. And the reason why this too is because people didn't agree on strategies and tactics. Mm. And I guess for me, it's different because I'm used to working in groups. I'm used to working in projects. So I'm good at working with people. All right. I know how to get accomplish something like you you start off with a task you work together to accomplish the task so it's not a big deal for me but some people have never worked with other people they've always been on the han solo shit and they don't see that <sighs> i keep harking back like i know y'all sick of me talking about that movie hero but please watch that movie <laughs> have you seen it yet no, but I will. Um, Please watch it. Watch it today. It's, today. It, trust, <laughs> trust me. It's not going to be something that's a trial for you to watch. Once you get into it, you're going to love it. But it's so important to watch that because I think it's, it embodies what nationalism is about. Mm -hmm. People put aside their personal differences with the king because they realized that the king was going to unite the country. So if you kill the king, then the country stays divided, but you get your revenge personally. Right. But the country suffers. If you forget about revenge and you let the king live so the country could be united, you don't get your revenge, but the country survives. The country comes together. Right. And people had to make choices. Yeah. What was more important? What was more important, right. And this is the thing that, you know, uh, it's it's a constant source of frustration for me because everybody wants to, and it, and it, I think it, it all stems from the low um, self esteem um, that people have. It's like they're not confident, so they have to create these things to make themselves feel more confident and more realer or more blacker than everybody else. Mm -hmm. That's what I honestly believe that it is. It's not. It's not uncompromising like because that's what they that's the window dressing that they want you to believe that well the reason why i ain't go up because i'm uncompromising y'all niggas compromise but not me I, 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 shut the fuck up i i got a, i got a question but before i get to it i just want to read some of the comments um shout outs to whoa baby he said people intend to say that we are no monolith but we can benefit from solidar solidarity especially as we establish satellite communities how and come then, people how come people ahead. say that we're not a monolith but we are a monolith when it comes to getting our ass kicked <laughs> but when it comes time to power well we're not a monolith we can't say black people are monolith well we're a monolith when it comes to persecution we are monolith when it comes to, to beatings and killing mm. you notice that yeah we only monolithic <laughs> when it comes to that but if we come time to talking about power then well, well damn i mean when you think about it what is black all right but black is is crystal clear when it comes to getting our ass beat sorry i ain't going <laughs> for it He then follows up saying, "In the B, even in the BAIO, we have different perspectives, although we share the same end game." Right, and that's important because um, mm -hmm. 
I can argue strategy and tactics all day long. I think that that's a productive discussion. Right. Every disagreement is not contentious. You know what I mean? Like you can have an opinion about how, so, and I think that that's how most of our internal meetings go. Like we, people have wildly different uh, ways of looking at things and that's good. Yeah. It's good. Cause these are discussions that should be on the table. And sometimes it does get heated, but it doesn't get to the point where everybody hates each other and they want to leave the group and shit. Right. My question, my question is, um, if someone, is it too late for someone that has, you know, this individual mentality, like it's been ingrained in them from, from as a kid all the way up to, let's say, I don't know, 25 or so, like, are they never just going to have this teamwork mentality or just do things as a group? Like, is that? Is that something that they're scarred for life for like what or or they could still change <laughs> they can still change because one of the things that i always say is that nobody's scarred for life nobody mm -hmm. if you are smart enough to realize why you're doing something then you're smart enough to change it to change it okay i can understand somebody doing something and they really don't know why they do it but if you can sit there because there's plenty of people that will sit there and and you know consciously tell you well the reason why i do this is because when i was a child da, 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 i say oh so you know why you're doing it that's unusual mm. so you know why you're doing it and you continue to do it so then you're making a conscious choice to stay that way mm -hmm. it ain't no mysterious shit like something is taking over your body you know exactly what the fuck is going on and you choose to stay there because it's an excuse for you right but that comes from the society we live in now everybody's a big fucking baby you can't tell the truth because you might you know it'll hurt somebody's fear wings if you tell the truth <laughs> yeah um i even you know because i i saw your clip uh not everyone is an honest player and I thought it was so profound because you you see it in a lot of ways where and, and this is where it comes to with the BAIO. Our first thing is determining the we, you know, mm -hmm. figuring out and just asking people, do you believe in black nationalism and, and land infrastructure and nationhood? Because during the process, things happen. You know, mm -hmm. there's going to be ups downs and such there's going to be a lot of you know strategy and just effort to put in is this person going to fold or is their interest only for them personally you know and this is something that has to be figured out first because you don't know what they're coming in with <laughs> mm -hmm. so yeah, I, I, th I think this is a really great topic because you, you, we're, we're dealing with people and everybody's different, you know, down to personalities, upbringing, just that self alone is a lot. Oh, right. snap. Emoji's coming in. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I, I really think it, it's, it's important. Bruce said, Underrated mind. My comment is too long for the chat. I'll post it in the comment section after the stream. He, earlier, he had said um, he doesn't believe in the, uh, or he's not a big fan of the herd mentality. When is the herd mentality hurt us? <laughs> Everybody keeps saying that. Oh, we're not a monolith. I don't believe in the herd. When is the herd? I, I would love for us to have a herd mentality. I would prefer that over what we got now. Mm -hmm. When is when, when? As a matter of fact, when have we had a herd mentality to the point where people feel that it would hurt us? When? 
isn't it fascinating how that we're not a monolith mess always come up when you mention us coming together to build or coming together to obtain some power then we're not a monolith any other time we'll celebrate our differences we'll talk about the the different relationships we have the different gender all of the all of the intersectionalities all of them but then when it's like you know what that's cool you you know you should stay there you should stay there we can stay here but how about we like bring it together to work towards one shared vision just one even if it's less you know build a school let's 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 do a a a, a monthly a monthly like school thing where we get all our kids together and talk about black history and stuff like that. It'll always be some, then we'll start talking about our differences. It's really fascinating that we only talk about our differences when it's time to actually do something together. It's that really is a good point, man. That is a very good point. Cause I had, I had made that point before about, um, people will tolerate a man in a dress who decides to call himself a woman, but you won't tolerate my black nationalist ass. <laughs> Come on, man. Am I, am I lying? That's a bridge too far to be a black nationalist, but a dude in a dress t- tucking his shit in and, and calling himself a girl that you can accept. <laughs> Bro, which, which, which that, part am that, I lying about? That oh, you will uh, celebrate. Let's be let's be clear. That you will actually celebrate. Right. But me being a black nationalist, we want a nation of my own. That's just a bridge too far. <laughs> and then people wonder why I say get the fuck out of here. And I don't care about people and their fucking feelings. I don't care about how you feel, nigga. Don't care. Because nobody gives a shit about how I feel. Mm. Maybe maybe it hurts my feelings that people don't like nationhood. Does anybody care? No. <laughs> I my feelings have personally hurt everybody that no if that, that black people don't embrace the concept of land infrastructure nationhood. Don't you feel bad now? <laughs> they still gonna keep on going. Living is, their any, life. is anybody gonna find a safe space for me? <laughs> No, it's fuck holla. Right. But let's give that guy in the dress a hug. (laughs) Oh, am I being insensitive right now? Let's take a selfie with him. (laughs) Am I being insensitive right now? Hmm? You just telling it like it is. Am, Am I punching down on the press group now? (laughs) <laughs> oh man I don't think so <laughs> nobody cares about my black nationalist ass and as long as nobody cares about my black ass nationalist ass I don't give a flying fuck about what persecution somebody else thinks they going through mm-hmm. and you can call me whatever the fuck you want to call me And you know the 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 mentality of going as a group, like you see it in in through history and even things that's you know very known. Like from the Wu Tang, we we've had a, a clip made from the uh, the Wu Tang saga where Reza realized that I can't do this shit myself, and then. Right. Other folks, you know, along the way, Ghostface, Raekwon, they're trying to do their own thing, and it's not working for them as well, you know? And Reza had to set up the meetings like, yo, like, if we come together as one, like, we can take over. And you know what? In retrospect, I believe all of them realize it, because I I saw recently um, an interview with Raekwon, and he said that the biggest problem that Wu-Tang had was going doing solo albums Mm. and that's crazy because his solo album is like considered like one of the best albums ever best albums wow wow and he said and the reason and his reasoning even though i don't agree with him but because i don't think that that was the reason but he said his reasoning behind it was when they were all together 
that's when when the swords were um sharper. When wow. they were all together in the studio. When when they stopped being together, that's when every and if they really honest with themselves, every group, every member of the Wu Tang clan has to admit they were at their strongest when they were all together. Yeah. The moment they went their own, doing their own thing, some of them individually might have been more successful than others, but as a group and mm -hmm. as a brand, the mm -hmm. brand suffered. Wow. Isn't that a lesson that we can learn? But no, I'm no. just talking shit. <laughs> there's, nothing, there's nothing to learn. Move along now. Nothing to see here. <laughs> yeah. It's very frustrating, man. It's very frustrating dealing with, with people that's one-dimensional um, nickel and dime thinkers. Yeah. Do you realize what it takes to build a... Uh, we already have a nation, first of all. We already got one. Right. But do you know what, what, what it takes to get that nation up into speed and up and running the way that it should? Is that a sprint or is that a marathon? That's a marathon. And some people ain't done their cardio. Mm. Those those people that get the you know the New York City Marathon when the gun goes off and they like ah they take off <laughs> running. <laughs> and then where do you see those people at the end of the race? Probably in a hospital somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I, I I like the analogy that you use when when it comes to nationhood that it is a marathon and not a sprint. Because I think you I think you stated it from um, the lounge or if it was another live stream how certain people when they're coming into a project they just want it done fast, right? and just move on to the next thing or get it over with. But right. really it's a, it's a long-term, you know, project. Like this is, this is not a short-term thing. This, this takes time. Yo, in a perfect world. And we had this discussion in one of our, you know, internal chats yeah. in a perfect world. Let's, let's create a perfect scenario. Now let's just, let's, let's play a hypothetical. Mm -hmm. Let's say that today black people go, Oh shit. Nationhood. Ugh, damn you know what you guys are right and black people collectively embrace at a grassroots level and amongst the intelligentsia the concept of a, you know like going to liberia establishing liberia as our as our nation state and bringing liberia up to speed let's say that we did that today mm -hmm. i'm talking perfect scenario no resistance no nothing at the bare minimum, under perfect conditions, it would take five years to renovate a city. Mm. And I'm talking about the city alone and the, the, the roads around the city. Forget about the roads and highways because that's a process. Right. But to build up and re well, we don't have to build the infrastructure. We just have to renovate it because the infrastructure is already in place. Yeah, we might have to tear some things down to rebuild, but basically it's there. All we have to do is renovate it and bring All it up right. to speed. Mm -hmm. Five years. So that means it's 2021 uh, now. Let's say we give each other this two months vacation. So we start 2022. That means 2027 is when we'll actually have something um, to the point where people can do something with it, like move in and have businesses and stuff like yeah. that in the city. Yeah. Yeah, that's under perfect scenario. So, how much time are we talking since we're not even at the stage where we believe that we should have a nation? Hmm. Well, that's the and and that's what's most frustrating about about that rugged individuality part is that we really think that we got it figured out with the individualism stuff. It's like, nope, just me, 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 and we really think that we got it figured out, and when we so, but then when we talk about coming to coming to coming together, like it's like people still even want to come with that. No, I got all the answers. Y'all should be doing this. Y'all should be doing this. Y'all should be doing this. 
and and when, when we talk about folks coming in and then disappearing right but it's like if we it is it is like universally known that the more people you got working on the project the easier the project is the more effective the project is and most importantly it's more likely for it to succeed when you have more people working on it you know and and, and it's just so frustrating but we swear we got to figure it out with this individualism stuff and and once again don't let us have a job paying us paying us let's say minimum fifty thousand a year with some with some health benefits, oh nigga, you tripping? I don't need none of y'all. I'm I'm good, right? It's it's just wild. And and uh, lastly, I say about that how we got it figured out. When when we talk about hey black people, let's us get together and let's us just do our own thing and let's us not worry about what everybody else is doing. You are gonna have twenty percent of the people saying, man, that's some European, some white people shit and all this other stuff, right? And it's like actually that individualism. I'm going to do it myself and pull yourself up stuff. That's that shit that white people gave us initially that got us stuck. So it's actually the opposite. Saying that I want all black people to come together or, you know, all different in intersections of black people, not all black people, because all black people ain't going to do shit. But you know what I'm saying? Like all people who got the mind to want to get up out of here and have their own to come together and do that shit collectively. Mm-hmm. That's like so far from white people shit. Like, <laughs> like, like that's not what, what, uh, what white people teach. Like straight up. We, we need to come come together for any. I don't care what it is at this point, man. Let's come together for something. Yeah, man. let's have a let's have a herd mentality. Can we have that? I'm talking <laughs> about for something. Let's do something. We won't come together to do nothing, man. Can we have a herd mentality for that? Mm-hmm. Or is that that's unacceptable to have a, a herd mentality? Um, I'll tell you what we do. Let me give you. One, oh no, go ahead. One last thing. One one last thing because I remember years ago. I I I. I can't remember what phrase I used, but I was like, uh, oh, I, 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 I was talking about y'all remember the phrase each one teach one. Right. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? Each one teach one, you know, would, would be powerful. But like we don't use it for like positive things. We don't use it to help people get business. We don't we, we don't use it to give pe- people knowledge to like do 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 things that that will make black people better as a whole. But when we do each one teach one, it's a nasty ass dance. It's a whack ass song. It's nigga, here's where you get the guns from. It's nigga, here's how you cook crack. You know, each one teach one. We do that shit very well. So, so, so it's not like we don't we don't come together as a monolith for certain things. Let a new song come out. Let a new dance come out. Let a new piece of jewelry come out. All black people know about it. All black people know what the fuck a Bugatti is. Broke as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? All black people know what Louis Vuitton is. Broke than a motherfucker. Balenciaga. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying though, straight up though, when it comes to when it comes to popular shit and it, and what's hot, quote unquote hot, all black people know about it and we share it. And if you don't know about it, we look at you like you a clown. But when it comes down to nationhood, you just are a clown. If you think about some nationhood shit, we got to stay right here. I'm done. I'm so I'm so tired of y'all. Speaking of leaving the group, I'm leaving y'all, man. I'm tired of being <laughs> this. <laughs> y'all, I'm done with y'all, Negroes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here's something else that um we can. Here's another nothing to see here. Move along now. Situation. Um, Vince McMahon Senior, the guy who um was before Vince McMahon, was a um promoter for wrestling basically in new york Mm -hmm. and during that time there were promoters all over the country and they all had a gentleman's agreement that they wouldn't you know take wrestlers from each promotion and stuff like that that they would respect each other's territory and that happened until vince mcmahon senior died and passed it over to vince mcmahon jr Mm-hmm. The guy who the guy who's um running it currently. And Vince McMahon Jr. um didn't see that the same way. So what he did was he snatched up all the local talent from all of those other federal um, you know, promotions and federations and basically drove them out of business. Now, the company that Vince McMahon Sr. started is now a multi-billion dollar company. Mm. Why is it that everybody sees that coming together, bringing things together, gets you power? Why do businessmen do hostile takeovers? 
and consolidate businesses. Mm. Move along now. Nothing to see here. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. I mean, it's working out so well. <laughs> Fly guy has a question. He says, how do we fix the individualism that some of our people suffer from? We don't fix anything. Yeah. Especially could be especially before we even have a chance to even have a we and form something tangible and concrete. The individual at this point has to decide which route they want to take. Right. Because do you want to be a part of something or do you want to just do it on your own? Yeah, because I'm I know thinking we... oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead, sir. You go ahead. I was just going to say that one statement. If we have to make somebody think a certain way or make them be a part of something, we already lost. Yeah, so Bruce Leroy in there trolling and he's trying to make a good a good good point, but he's actually making a point that I think we're trying to uh say. He's he 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 was talking about by individuals succeeding, and then he tried to use an example about Einstein. Uh, um, being brilliant, everything will will well. The point about individuals succeeding, my guy, is that this is a wonderful thing. But but what about when the individuals who succeeding are bringing something back together for the whole to make the whole succeed more instead of just saying I succeeded, I'm leaving, bye niggas, you know. And what if Einstein? Had his had his theory of relativity and just saved it to himself. He was just insane in his house all day doing all this stuff and never shared it with the world. And then when he died, uh, somebody found his thing buried in his grave or some shit. They were like, "Oh shit, he he was sharp. He didn't do that. He shared it with the public. He shared his genius with the science community." No one's saying that we all supposed to do the same shit. No one's saying everybody put on some black boots and 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 wave an RGB flag or everybody just just get into books and become master scholars. No, we're saying use all of our geniuses. The the electricians use use their geniuses. The 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 shit the the uh, people who know how to cook use their geniuses. The athletes use their geniuses, but all for a shared vision, sir. Right. I really don't like it when people just point out individual success because it gets us nowhere. We've been doing that for a long time, so stop can it. I, can it's I ask stupid. a question? Seriously. Mm -hmm. Can I ask a question? Go Was ahead. Einstein a part of some vague abstraction when he did what he did, or was he in a nation? Was he living somewhere? <laughs> exactly. Individual success. That's so that's that's so tired, man. It's so tired. You, you it's just also, be an individual. It's be disingenuous. It's disingenuous because right now in America, people can be individuals because the infrastructure is already set. You got a government. This is a first world society. So yeah, there's individuals. But what about before it became a society? When it was mm -hmm. building itself up to be one. How much was your individualism back then? Hmm. You had to see the greater good. You had to sacrifice your individuality and work for the whole so that you could finally be the individual that you want to be when you've established your society. Right. How do you just leave that out of the equation and just point to the individual as if the individual is, is existing in some fucking vacuum Absent of social, economic, and political context. <laughs> and I always find that thing, like he said, it is capitalism has winners and losers. You know what? That argument will be much stronger if I hear it from a loser. You notice that? Everybody, oh, well, you know, there's winners and losers. They always telling it from the position of the winner. Winner. Have that same philosophy when you're the loser. Then, then argue strongly for that ideology when you ain't getting shit out of it. Hmm. Then I'll believe it. Then I'll say, wow, this guy's principled. He getting his ass kicked and he supports the system that's doing it. Right. It'll be totally different. Feels all the way around. 
Yeah, it's always, well, you know, sacrifices have to be made. It's always said by the person that's not doing the sacrificing. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you know, there's collateral damage. Well, there's always somebody else experiencing the collateral damage and not them. I always pay attention to these philosophies because I want to hear, if you're saying this, how would you feel if you had to suffer from the ideology that you push in? Yeah. If your family gets wiped out in a drone attack, keep it real. Applaud your government. <laughs> Even though your wife and kids are dead, applaud them and say, well, you know, hey, man, I would just they were just casualties of war. You know, they're just collateral damage. But I applaud my president for killing my family because it just had to be done. Come on, man. <laughs> That's when you start discovering that a lot of these ideologies that people are pushing is a bunch of bullshit. Mm. Because somebody else is always at the butt end of it and not them. Mm -hmm. Population control. There's too many people on the planet. There needs to be population control. So you're totally fine with killing off half the population like you fucking Thanos. But what about if you're a part of the people that's got to be gone? Why don't you make that sacrifice? The world will be one less person if you got if you got out of here. Do your part. It's so funny too because going back to where we're a monolith on, you know, when it comes to our struggle, I would say for me growing up and just talking with people things become a monolith when we talk about other ethnicities coming together. Like, you know, those small talks like, man, them Mets can sure stick together. You know, yep. we got China, China's on lock. And then the, the hypocrisy comes in where we're acknowledging that, man, we got to get together, this, that, and the third. But then if we're trying to talk about nationhood, it dies down. So it's like... <laughs> Yo, we, we we acknowledge the ass beaten, yeah. but then we acknowledge others getting together. But then we acknowledge that we're not getting together. But we just <laughs> it's just right. so complex. It's called cognitive dissonance. <laughs> that's what it's called. You, I remember there was this one time um, when I was at the. That's why I love the slave theater because you had to come corrected the slave theater. They wasn't just. Um, Amen and then cosign and everybody that got up there. There was some people that got up there and it didn't go well. Mm. I remember this one lady in particular, black woman, made a statement that everybody talks about culture, but culture don't mean nothing. You can't do nothing with culture. She was one of these capitalists, right? Mm -hmm. And then she used as an example of what she was talking about the Chinese. Uh oh. And, the, and of course, the crowd is knowledgeable, so they went in on it. It's like, how are you going to use the most ethnocentric group on the fucking planet mm. to prove a point that culture don't matter? <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, that's that cognitive dissonance. It's like people can't put two and two together. They can't. We so departmentalized and segmented in our mentality that we can't see the whole. Right. Well, you can't you, you can't bring up the slave theater and don't have me think about how you was in there with Amos Wilson and then have me get jealous and want to hang up. But 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 since we're there, since we're there, Amos <laughs> Amos actually <laughs> Amos actually <laughs> writes about using like how most successful nations and societies have at the core of it some ethnocentricity going on, even if it's mm -hmm. a, even a, even if on the outside it doesn't look like it at the core of it and where the power structure is. Is almost completely ethnocentric, and yeah. and and then when we talk about us, that invisible nation within the nation, we do have certain certain parts of our culture that damn near all of us share, man. And it's mm -hmm. a real thing. If you go to any neighborhood where there's any city where there's black people, guess what there is most of the time: gang violence, drug dealing, drug using, alcoholism. You see what I'm getting to? All of the stuff that we've been. So mind you now. We could talk about how yes, we've been socialized in 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 into these little subcultures and subgroups. 
it is a part of social socialization that, that that has happened to us and we pass that shit on from generation to generation and the question has to become when are we going to flip that switch when are we going to flip the switch and then the people who think that they got it figured out just like no just go to school and get you the best job from 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 somebody that you can and live right and be a here it goes a successful individual and never mind what's going on to other other black people who cares we keep acting like we have all the time in the world when we do not but we definitely have a have have a culture and i think it's bullshit to tell you the truth i i, I think a lot of the culture that we that we glorify and, 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 and cling to is just destructive man it's really insane mm-hmm Got Want to feel questions. some questions? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go for it. So Bruce is um, still on the capitalism. He said, has capitalism not increased everyone's standard of living? <laughs> um, no. I, w- I would call that technology. I would call that tech, tech, technology to an extent. Next. I haven't. Uh, I just came in. So, you know, but. Give me like a good solid like three minutes to address some of these questions. First question that I would like to do is I want you to go back to the Let Me Give You by Bruce Lee when he says, let me give you an example. Einstein saw the universe differently than anyone else in the world. His unique perspective changed the world. Uh, I know you're not knowledgeable in physics. I'm not trying to like, this is not an assault on your intelligence, but I'm somebody who minors in physics, so I know a lot about physics and know the history of physics. And although Einstein is most known for his theory of relativity, and of course, you know that, you know, sp- uh, the space time, you have general relativity, all of that, and, and of course, black holes in, you know, the short snake, uh, it's like short swipers radius. But Einstein was in a period called the golden age of physics. Einstein's work, was built upon other physicists at that time. Mm-hmm. You had Schrodinger, you had uh, Heisenberg, you had Neil Bohr. As a matter of fact, Einstein's theory about spooky effect was proven wrong, and Neil Bohr's idea of spooky effect was correct. So this whole idea that Einstein had this one perspective that ain't nobody saw it is ridiculous. Now, he was able to put things together that people may not have been able to put together at the time, but it was eventually going to get discovered. I mean, this, this, the works was already being built. Mm. So to make it about one individual person and completely negate the work that had been built before and the environment that enabled Einstein, because like I said, he was in the golden age of physics. This was also during the time politically of the progressive movement. Hence why Albert Einstein was a socialist. Um, The person who designed the atomic bomb was a socialist. Um, Because you're completely forgetting the the, the environment that created that. I always bring it back to the hurricane. Mm. So that's why I I have your your argument doesn't make sense because you're completely forgetting the other aspects. Einstein was unique in that he was able to connect everything and really sort of allow us to rethink it. But he just didn't come out of that thin out of blue moon. This stuff was being built Jabari. through decades. Jabari, I want you to I want you to keep keep cook, cooking. I definitely want you to claim all your time. I just want to make one point about just us four being on here and and, and it's ironic how it drives home the entire point. You have me, a, 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 a social worker, changed to electrician. We have you, uh, 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 you just, uh, uh, I'm talking about a Liberia specialist, an uh, engineer, a uh, 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 minor in physics. Then you you, you, you got Hala, a, a, a screenwriter, a writer, movie producer, and, and, and into films. Then you got underrated, an IT specialist. Four people from four different backgrounds, four different ages, four different generations. But we all here to talk about nationhood and our conversations be insanely dope because we not all up here just screaming, oh, white people, black power, white people, the devil and all this stuff. No, we bring all of our differences. We bring our differences and different thought patterns together, but it's all aimed towards one shared vision. I'm done. 
No, that's a good point. And, and, and uh, I'm going to respond to um, uh, Bruce Lee by his final statement, and then I'll get to the other ones because I really want to just the other people's points. But he says, are you trying to discredit Einstein? Nobody's discrediting Einstein's individual accomplishments. What we're saying is, is Einstein's accomplishments were able to be, were able to thrive and were able to manifest themselves because he was in an environment that was conducive for it. He didn't just come up out of nowhere. He was in a time period that thrived on that, on those ideas. That's why, like I said, it's called the golden age of physics. It's not called the golden age of physics. Do you know what a golden age is? Apparently you don't. That's Can why we... I said, yeah, go ahead. Let's go to the next question because this guy's yeah. dominating the, the questions. There's other people with questions, so let's let's go to that. Yeah. Never um, Miriam or Miriam said, Don't agents come to lay in this whole thing going around decimating wacky, wacky ideas? Can I answer that? Sure, go ahead. Um, get the art of war. There's a whole chapter dedicated to spies. Anybody that thinks that you're not going to have spies and any type of thing that you're doing is insane. The Back. art of war shows you how to use spies. Spies Amen. come with the spies are baked into the cake. They come with the territory. So oh. what we are going through is no different than the spies inside of America. I noticed that America is still existing. Yep. Thank There's you. Spies in China. I noticed spot China is still a government. Ola Damare, Ola Damare, tell Ola Damare uh, sent his uh, Orishas down to Earth to give you that message because apparently, like I said, did anybody not forget that the person who designed the Soviet atomic bomb was a was a was a U.S. spy? He was born and raised in the U.S., then defected to the USSR and served as a spy. His name was George Koble, um, George Koble. So, like he said, the idea you're not gonna have spies is ridiculous. It, it, you, it's called intelligence. That's why it's called intelligence. <laughs> that, that you're gathering intelligence. Are you not supposed to be gathering? Like, so we're supposed to be going blind. There's double agents, triple agents. I mean, there's a whole. That's a whole thing. There's that people have dedicated their lives to. It's nothing that should stop you from making moves. And also, here's the thing. It. You, if you know that's what they're doing, you're supposed to be doing the same thing back. You're not supposed to be on defense all the time. You're supposed to be on offense. You're supposed to have your intelligence agencies. You're supposed to have your spies in, 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 intact. You're supposed to be making sure that your agenda is being met. Make sure that you have cohesion and that you recognize it. Yes, countries have spies, but they recognize them. They're able to recognize them. Why? Because they put things, they put structures intact to make it difficult for you to, for a spy to just come really nearly and get in close proximity. That's why you see they're not able to overthrow governments that much. They're not able to get, because they screen that stuff. But that's called preparation. Treating this stuff like it's a Herculean task. It's not a Herculean task. It's, we just, we just, just making shit more complicated than it actually fucking is. Because we don't have the right people in charge. We're asking we're asking the sheep to herd themselves. Hmm. And the shepherd is somewhere either fucking a sheep or drunk. But we don't we don't put no responsibility on the shepherd. So we want the sheep to just get in line themselves. And you see how that works out. What's the next question? The next question we have is from Key Swahili Worldwide. Are the people in Liberia in agreement with a large migration from the U.S. coming there and establishing power? How would a second civil war be avoided? And well, somebody in the well, somebody in the chat addressed that there's already been a second civil war civil that was like twenty years ago. So. That, I want that, to, I yeah, wanted Jabari to answer that, but I just want to make a, a statement off of that. They can't afford to go to war. Go ahead, Jabari. Yeah, that that part too. I mean, they ain't got no money like that. So, um, that that's one thing. But the second thing is, 
is yeah, they're 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 perfectly comfortable with a large scale migration. Did I suggest you go back and watch our interview with uh she speaks too because she addressed the, this very topic when I asked her that question. Uh, they don't mind it. It's just you, you have to bring something to the table. Like they want to know that the people that that are coming there are going to be productive members to society. That we're not just coming there just to leave and then we're not contributing anything. That you're coming there with the purpose of yes, you you see this as your home, but also to build it for your 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 fellow countrymen. And mm-hmm. if once you do that, then the mass exodus uh, can happen. He says just a week ago, dual citizenship was passed for expatriates who left to other countries. I was actually going to talk about that later on. Um, I was supposed to talk about it yesterday, but just I was really exhausted and I was not in the zone, so I just, I just, I tuned out. Uh, so, but yeah, they did that one to allow Liberian diaspora back, but also because of what's coming up next year. So you know, if you can't offer dual citizenship, that means most likely people are not going to come because they don't have a sense of yeah. I but I can tour the country anytime. What benefits am I getting if I come specifically next year? And mm-hmm. so that's one of the reasons why they got rid of the you can't have dual citizenship aspect. Right. But um, I would say I would just throw in that um, I would check out our last few live streams because we, we addressed that in detail. We really unpacked that whole thing about Liberian people and um, us repatriating. And like I said, we've done interviews on this. So you can, we can, you can ask Liberians themselves what they think. All right. We could go to, to the next question. Um, Or let's see the next statement. Ah, that looks cool. Baruti said perhaps we should as african people articulate our economic paradigms and narratives from the framework of ubuntu as opposed to discussing them through capitalism and socialism both mazungu money concepts okay <laughs> i would say that ubuntu is just a it's just a principle it's not really an economic system it just means i am because we are that's just a principle um but you need a system so I, I would say that I think what you have to do is that's why they call it African socialism, because it's socialism with African characteristics. Like same thing, they have the word called socialism with Chinese characteristics. It's really capitalism. You could say it's capitalism, but it, it's different than what American capitalism is, which is why they call it socialism with Chinese characteristics. I, I uh, and that. That that's all there is to it. Next question is C seven seven seven. What are your thoughts on forming a political party solely for local politics? That's not gonna work. Um, yeah. go ahead. I think it's the ultimate example of putting the cart before the horse. Mm. You can go ahead, Jabari. That's basically all I got to say on that. <laughs> I mean, that, that's really, like I said, it's not going to happen. Like, how are you going to build a, a black political party when we live in a two-party system and you think that those two political parties are not going to crush you if they see you're making headways in the poll? We, we, we can look at what's going on within the Democratic Party itself. Remember when Nina Turner ran and she was up 50 to 13 and uh, corporate Democrats, established Democrats, centrist Democrats found out that she was going to win and they started flooding in dark money real quick and all of a sudden kept propping up Chantel Brown. Hard before the wheel. There you go. Taking my ball and going home. (laughs) 
I get what you're saying. I understand you want local policies like city council door to door, but here's the thing. You got to have money too. And you got to have the people. That's the thing. What's the overall ideology before we start the local um, politics or before we establish a pit, a political party on a local level? What's the overall ideology? That is true. Yeah. That's why I say it's like putting the cart before the horse. I call it, you know, playing 3D chess with the white man. That ain't going to get you far either. We we doing strategies and tactics before we even have a game plan. I don't know how that's possible. What's the end game? Also, when they ask you, okay, what is your stance on climate change? What is your stance on healthcare? And you don't have a response for that. People, they're not they're not going to tune in because yes, you have a lot of black people who are who who want to do do for self or have a black nationalist ideology. But that black nationalist ideology or that idea of black self determination has to be wrapped around real issues. Mm. It can't be just vague generalities like oh, we're going to build back the block and stuff like that. No, it's got to be, are we addressing climate change? Are we addressing health care? Are we recognizing inflation that's going on in, around us? Um, are we ta- how are we going to be able to tax corporations? What are we going to do with contracts? Like, there's so many things that goes into a platform than just talking. Because that's why we keep talking about black talking heads. They talk, but when you ask them to come up with a concrete agenda, a concrete plan, and can write it out, they can't do it. C77 says local politics is business tactic, business tactic, taxes. Oh, God. And who cares about, he said, who cares about climate change when you have racist judges? What? I, I don't know. It's... That's that that's that's what we call the very Whoa. definition of being irrational. Like, <laughs> I mean, who cares about climate change when you have racist local judges? Here's the thing. I can deal with a racist racist local judge. You want to know why? I'm still going to be here. With climate change, I'm not going to be here. So why do I care about a racist local judge if the planet's not going to be here? <laughs> I, are we, are we no. seriously having this conversation? Jabari. So you want me to care about white supremacists when the planet is burning, droughts are going everywhere, famine's going everywhere, Africans are literally starving to death right now because of droughts. Do you think they care about what Europeans got to say about them? I care about the fact that I don't have food because it's goodness gracious, it's not raining. Oh god. My God. Jesus Christ, man. Jabari. Then, 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 Bobby, then, then, Bobby, Bobby Fisher is supposed to be probably the greatest chess player ever. And he thought 14 moves in advance. He can look at the board and see you make a move and he can tell what's how the game is going to play out in 14 moves. Mm. We're sitting up here talking about white politicians. How about this? What's going to happen when Africa is the last place on earth for people to get fresh water? Mm. Thank you. Thank you. How about looking that far into the future? What are we doing to prepare to protect our, our, our homeland from the, the zombie hordes? That are going to be running to it when everything, every place else on the planet is uninhabitable, or is underwater, coastal city, because that's what apparently um, they're forgetting. Um, you said then you don't want a nation. You said then you don't want a nation. Okay, what happens what? if you have a nation? I, I, no, I want to ask C, C this question. Answer this question for me, C. Answer this question for me, C. So what happens when the nation of Kiribati, the nation of Jamaica, what happens when they're underwater? What are you going to tell them? Climate change doesn't matter? 
Are you really going to say that with a straight face that climate change don't matter? I dare you go say that. Go pull up to them right now and say climate change don't matter why their countries are sinking. Go, t- go say it to their face. I dare you. I, I, I don't know about wow. C, man. Is there, any other, is there any other questions? Yeah, yeah. like, uh, it, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, Do you have any other off. questions? Um, well, Bruce... <laughs> The cron- the no, cron- no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. you, 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 you. I'm telling you, I might, I, I might just need to have a block party in here because this is ridiculous. Like, no, no, don't, don't block them. Let them, let them say what they got to say. We just, you can't dominate the, the questions though. Like, there's other people that have questions to do. Baruti mm-hmm. has a statement. He said Jabari Ubuntu is a very in-depth philosophy, a conduit where and framework for articulating pan-Africanism and culture, i.e. history, economics, politics, ethos, social organization, mythology, and creative arts. Oh, that's a statement he's making. Yeah, it wasn't a question. Um, I will say this to add to that is that you're not going to um, establish or instill those values living in somebody else's context. All of those things can be articulated and instilled into the into the people if you control the socioeconomic and political context those people exist in. It's like trying to establish a lingua franca in America. Right. We want we want um black people in America to all speak Swahili, so we're gonna do it here in America. That would never happen. Look at what they did with Spanish. I mean, they tried a, what an English only movement when people started speaking Spanish, and even then right. today, there's pressure for them to speak English. So now, right. majority of young Latinos don't speak Spanish; they speak English mm-hmm. because it's called assimilation. Okay, when you're foreign born, you speak your native language. As you as you have children in that territory, such as Latinos, Hispanics, the Spanish starts to dip. It starts to go away. And eventually it gets to the point where I'm only of a Hispanic origin. I don't I don't speak Spanish. Speak right. Um, we can we can have a lot of these things that we want so badly, we can do in our own territory. Why are we trying to do this in someone else's territory? It doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. And also, and also, I, I, I just want to say that, like you said, not only our own territory, but you're only we keep forgetting you're only thirteen percent of the population. There's no one state in America that's a black majority state. A state with the highest black population. And that is if you include DC, but DC is not a state, is like 39%. That's the state with the highest black pop. There's no state with a black majority. And, and also, if they started seeing that black people were to become the majority, what do you think, especially Republicans in Southern states, would start doing? They're already doing it now, but they put that in overdrive. They gerrymander the crap out of the out of the states. Next question. Um, this is about pol- <laughs> political parties. <laughs> um, I want to address a uh, fly guy because fly guy did one. He said, and regarding um, in regarding to uh, climate change, what are some African countries doing to address it? They're doing renewable energy. You got some African countries doing renewable energy. I know in South Africa, they have, they're they doing solar panels. But mm-hmm. here's the thing with climate change. Some of the things that has happened with climate change right now can't be reversed. Even if we were to stop greenhouse emissions right now, it would still keep going. Because humans, particularly wealthy nations, continue to use fossil fuels. And you keep reaching these climate tipping points. And as these climate tipping points keep getting breached, it's why it's called a singularity, the point of no return. So even if we were to stop right now, the planet is going to continue to heat up. That's why we say 
investing in renewable energy, focusing on moving people from the coastline and start getting them in places that are less prone to flooding or designing infrastructure that's meant to withstand stronger hurricanes. We're telling you that now because some of it can't be reversed. And if you have this mindset of not changing or not preparing for that, then like Holop said about the Dutch system, you pay millions of dollars for that, that system, but you pay 120 billion, sometimes 200 billion, because a hurricane destroys all of the territory. Mm-hmm. So, I wish, next, I w- go ahead. I wish that we had the ability to be proactive. Thank you. I wish we had that. But I get, I get so tired of this, re- like you said, re- this reactionary mindset. Notice mm-hmm. how Africans were never the first group to do anything. Notice it, right? In the movie theaters, right? They're doing movie theaters now with beds in them. Movie theaters with dine-ins. In Africa, can you even find a movie theater? Like, how many movie theaters are there? And how many of them are designed that way? Mm -hmm. For example, Africa, we're the last continent to ever host the Olympic Games. We've never hosted the Olympic Games. Every other continent has hosted the Olympic Games but Africa. Africa is the last continent to not have a country with a trillion dollars. When Nigeria hits a trillion dollars or Egypt or South Africa, Africa will be the last continent to have a, con- a, a country with a trillion dollars. Every other country, every other continent has a country at least a trillion dollars. We are the last country. We are, I mean, we are the last continent with the least amount of millionaires. Every other continent has at least 300,000 millionaires. The entire India alone has 300,000 uh, millionaire in India has the same population a little bit less than the continent of Africa and yet Africa only has about 140,000 millionaires it's a joke I just thought of something and I'm wondering are there any sisters listening to this <laughs> live stream or any sisters in the chat room because I just as you were talking I was thinking about something you'll tell me what you think about this mm-hmm. you always hear um, sisters say that they've had to the things that they've had to do because there haven't been men in their lives that can do those things for them so they had to take on those roles themselves Mm -hmm. and they get tired they say you know like i'm the breadwinner but i don't fucking want to be i wish that i can hand off this responsibility to a man who was stepping up to the plate and taking care of business like a man should or at least they were trying, but they're not right. even trying at all. But you hear the women saying that, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That black nope. men are not even attempting. They're not even nope. trying. I want you to think about that and think about the conversation that we're having right now. Here we are, working class people and students trying to map out a socioeconomic and political blueprint for our people. Because our leadership is non-existent. Mm. Aren't we just like those women? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we had competent fucking people, and I love what you, I'm, I, I stole that thing that you said, Jabari, because it was so fucking profound. The difference between confidence and competence. If we had competent people in charge of our culture, maybe we could take some breaks. Maybe Jabari wouldn't be beat the fuck up. Maybe people wouldn't be so stressed out. I can hear it in his voice. I can hear it in Yamoja's voice. I hear it in the BAI on members voice. Stressed out because we got to th- we got to provide food, clothing, and shelter for ourselves and our family, and then try to map out some fucking blueprint for the nation with no leadership to be found. There's no intelligence in our community. Nobody's talking about nationhood except us. So like I said, the sheep are trying to herd themselves. Mm-hmm. Damn. And, and the shepherd that. is fucking the sheep or the shepherd's drunk somewhere in a shack. 
<laughs> and speaking of that, and speaking of that, uh, to, to, to the average black person oh, uh, or, or to anybody who's just watching, imagine having to, like I said, I'm a major in civil engineering with a minor in physics, yet I have to study all the economic systems, I have to study AI, even though I'm not in comp sci, I got to study all of that, got to study artificial intelligence, narrow, general, super intelligence. I literally have PDFs that are 500 to 1,000 pages, and I got like 100 of them, and like each of them, each folder has about 100. My Back to Africa folder literally has about 500 documents that I have, and some of these documents have 300 pages that I got to sit and read so that I can map out everything. So when I tell people how this is going to be done, I'm telling people where I want things to be put. Mm. I don't want to cut you off, Jabari. I just wanted to say something because imagine, let's just use the BAIO as an example. Imagine what it, we would be like as an organization if we had uh, three, like I'll, I'll, say, I'll say five, five people dedicated to the IT department. Five people dedicated to um, the clerical and administrative department. Five people dedicated to legal law. Five people dedicated to marketing and promotions. Five people dedicated to social media. Wouldn't it put a lot of stress off of the few people that's trying to run all over the place and being a jack of all trades? Yeah. Wouldn't it make life easier if we had people bring their skills into the group and just participate so that it would alleviate some of the pressure off of everybody else. I'll just yeah. I'll just I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, now that makes a situation where now I, instead of and now instead of me focusing on other things, or let's say focusing on activities you want me to, I gotta focus mm -hmm. on first of all getting the interviewer. So at least get to the interview, then getting up the right time, then got to be able to make um, videos on Liberian history. And you've noticed how a, I, I haven't been posting a lot of video. And the reason is not because I don't want to post videos. I just don't have the time anymore because I'm in school and I'm a senior and I got all these projects. So, I mean, I, I can't be editing and doing videos because I don't have an editor. So I can't edit these videos and do them all in one night. It's not going to happen. But this is actually a conversation about whether people should be involved. Whether we should work together as a collective to get, because we don't want, Lord, God forbid, we have a herd mentality. <laughs> That's like, that's as funny as somebody saying, you know, I don't want to hit the lottery because um, when you hit the lottery, you, you tend to go broke. Really? Mm. I, I just got to address. Aren't you I broke really, now, nigga? And, and I, I just need to um, address one person. Uh, we've already addressed it, but I'm just going to say this one point. I know you trolling and I know you ain't read. You, 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 you hardly watched the BIO. Because I've covered Liberian history multiple times. And the fact that you're telling us we need to uh, study Liberia shows me you have not been watching the video. I know a lot of Liberians. I actually know people who are in government. People who know people are in government. I've been on Liberian channels. Why don't you look up Focus on Liberia and maybe you can talk. But you don't know anything about Liberia. I know business people, YouTubers. This is what I mean. Talking and you don't know anything. You literally, I literally have a whole Liberian presidential series and making the case for Liberia as our nation state in the playlist. <laughs> so wait, C C like, seven seven seven. Oh, you know what? No, you know what? No, no, you know what? A C A C. Why don't you come? I, I know people too. I know people too. I know people too, honey. I know people too, honey. Why don't you come on here? Why don't we give her the link and she come on here? Why, why don't you do that? Is that a she or he? 
I, I, I don't know. I'm assuming Steve, so I'm, I'm making the assumption he, he could be, he, it could be a him. But why don't you come on? Or why don't you come on the BIO channel? Why don't you come on? Why don't we give you the link and you come on? <laughs> he said he. Okay. Come on. Oh, come so on. He, do you want to? Do you want to come on? Do you want to come on? We'll let you on. Link is in the chat. <laughs> come on. Come on. Link the is link in the is chat. in the chat. <laughs> the link is in the chat. Come check, on. Check check the queue. When he comes on, just bring him in. I got you. <laughs> well, hold on a second, y'all. This is the BAIO live stream. Take my ball and go home. <laughs> C77, where you at? The link is in the chat. Oh, that's a rhyme right there. Shit. It's in the chat, C77. Hey, you feel me, Afimi? <laughs> Where you at? The link is in the chat. <laughs> We're waiting. Uh-oh. Here we go. Guys, be nice. Be nice. All right, Hello. C77. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're, uh, you're on live. Can you hear me? You're on live. Hey, what's up? What's yep. We can hear you. I, I stumbled across it. I don't know a whole lot about your uh, channel, but look, I'm older than you. I've had these same conversations 30 years ago. People will have them 30 years from now if we keep thinking Africa. Now, I knew the people who escaped from Liberia. Right? I met them. I knew them. I knew military people. I knew the uh, the mayor who was killed. Right? I, she was at my dinner table with my parents and then went back and got killed. All right? So I know that story. Liberia is ne not necessarily the answer unless they fix political things. We started the country with black people from America, primarily from Maryland, Virginia, right? They have a state there called Maryland for that reason. One of the yeah, wealthiest- The Republic of Maryland. It was called the world, Republic of Maryland. Just Africa. Well, was there, it was, it's like a state, right? Yeah, yeah it's Maryland it was, County. It was, it was, it was, it's in, right, right. So Liberia is, it, it had, a, it has a lot of promise. I know people that, I, people go back and forth all the time. Right, I have even access to land there if I needed to, right? But politically, Africa is not the answer for African Americans right now, right? And unless we have all these satellite, unless we can, we if we can't build satellite states here amongst ourselves, virtual communities that actually money for ourselves, where people don't have to work for someone else, how do we expect to do that in Africa, where the political system is so corrupt? and so needy of so many things that you know how are you know they want americans when they have money right they want you to come with their money to invest in their economy they don't care about you right so fix what we have to do at local politics right local politics things like things like business taxes for the small business right things like you know um you know to, to picking up your garbage out at your streets in your black communities aren't successful, right? Policing, you know, gang violence. Those are the things that keep us from making money, right? And that's the thing, the economic development. If you can't do economic development here, if you can't stop people from killing each other here, how do you expect to do it in Africa? You're not. It'll be another 30 years with another generation of children talking about the same thing. Do it here, fix it here, focus on local gut to get about fixing you know, Congress and voting for climate change and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, let's vote for let's let's vote for 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 the child welfare um, judges that put black kids in jail at a higher rate. Right. That that's what you do first. You set the baseline first that you have a platform on which to build. You can't just jump all the way over across the water to think you want to build that platform. All right, Jabari. Yeah, first question. Um, what ethnicity are you? Because it says like you you're familiar with Liberia. What ethnicity are you in terms of Liberia? Are you Crew, Basa, America, Liberian, Congo? Um, 
Oh, first no, of all, are you no, from no, there? No. I've, look, no, I, I'm not from there, right? I, I have uh, connections with the people through things that my family was doing for, for Liberia since the 70s, all right? My father used to go back and forth when I was a kid. Right. And so that's where we knew the people. So maybe I'm, I don't know about these government, but for the people in that government, when it was thriving, those are the people I knew. And those are the people that were murdered. Right. Those were people who were ancestors of black Americans. Notice I do not use the term African Americans because that's a misnomer. But um, they were descendants of us who were killed. And they've all, they've been, they were, they've been fighting since that. Uh, since that nation was established, they were not welcome. Okay, enough. first thing. Right. Okay, first to point I would like to address. There, yeah, there's a first thing. Um, first of all, why don't you say? Um, why do you say Black American and not African American? It's a, it's 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 somewhat of a misnomer because where we think we came from as Africans, there were Africans here before Columbus, right? They were black. Black people here, either we don't know whether they were just indigenous. They've been here since God created us or not, but they were the first people to populate this uh, continent looked like us, right? It's at least on the eastern seaboard, right? We know that, right? So to say that all of our all the black all of our ancestors came from blacks in the transatlantic slave trade is it's not it's not accurate, right? And and each scientists know that now, sociologists know that now. Um, so I think the people coming from Africa now who get American citizenship, they're African-American. Uh, um, Elon Musk is African. I have, I have a, um, I have a couple have, points I would like to and have, then you can answer. We have, we have a, we, we have. Yeah, um, yeah, so there's a couple points I would like to first debunk and then I want you to answer the questions if you can. So you say that Black Americans are, uh, we've been here before yeah. Columbus, or that we're indigenous to America, as, as some people of that theory like to say. Um, number one, do you know our indigenous ethnic name? What does it mean? And number two, if we are indigenous to America, why don't we call ourselves Red Americans? Because last time I checked, people who are indigenous referred to as red. That's why the term red skin is offensive because they are not black. They were referred to as the red race. So why do you call yourself black American indigenous? What we're talking about. That, that's, that, that's, that's a diversion. I'm speaking up, I can't really hear you. That's a diversion. And that's, that's just my choice of what I feel like I'm going to for my reasons. But, So C777, going back to your comments, you're saying overall that we should start locally here in America to build satellite communities versus not having a nation state yes. in Liberia? Yes, because we can't have a nation state tomorrow, but we can have our own communities by next week, literally. Right, so we got IT people in here. I'm in IT. I've been in IT for a long, long time. Right, I I know about I know about AI. Right, I know about blockchain and things like that. I work with it every day. I know there are things that we can do. We we can have we can establish an economic uh, community in our own country way before we can even think of doing anything somewhere else. And virtual. I mean. So why so why haven't we done virtual it? Virtual life is. Hmm? Because we have a, a, a large, I tell you what, I tell you there's a few things, right? And one, I'll start with, I'll, I'll just start with, with uh, you, the people, you know, uh, with the pan Africans, you know, peace first, because we're waiting, right, for Africa to accept us home. That's not going to happen. The other thing is, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So you're saying the reason why it you hasn't happened is because of pan. No, I want. I just want to be. I want to be. I want to be clear. I want to be clear on the first thing that you said. I said. I so said, you're I'm saying. Start with that one. I, I will be, yeah. The one thing is, we are waiting, right? We're waiting to establish that connect. Like you said, we're, we're waiting to do it there, right? 
that that's what that's the first thing, right? Uh, that's one thing. I'm not saying that's the most important thing. I'm just saying that's what we've been talking about, right? The second thing is this. You have people who you have a buffer class who who that you know people have in place. They give them a little extra, just so they can disrupt things. And so that we don't move forward. We've always had them. Like you said, you had spies, right? You have traders too. We have that class of people. We have some that don't care about anything, and they just want to sing and dance, and they want to fight, and they want to kill each other, and they want to screw, and they want to do all this stuff. They don't. They don't take this seriously. They all right. They don't care about tomorrow. All the about the day, got those too, right? And then we have people who are fearful, right? And we have people who don't don't have faith, who don't think that ever happened. We have doubters, and when you knock you knock all those people aside, you probably come within maybe three or four million, or not even, right? You may become ten percent of our population. When I say four million, right? That that's that that would be big, but it's enough because with us, we always have a we've always had a collective consciousness, right? So if you start small, starting small with us is not a problem. It always grows, right? But we have all these splinter facts and factions. We think we all have to move together like we did with Dr. King. That's not going to happen, right? You start small. You start with your own group of people. You start with 10, 12 men, right? I love the ladies, but you got to start with men. Men don't make build. We have the opportunity to build and to pass. I, I love the ladies, but this is something that men have to do for us, for us as a people. We can start small. I know a lot of people my age, right? They have, you know, we, we got kids in college, we got mortgages, we got all this stuff. People are afraid. They don't want to risk anything, but they don't understand that they would have more if they actually took that risk. And they also don't understand that things are happening where they're going to have no choice because they're not going to have the safety net that they thought they was going to have. They're not going to have the safety net that their parents had, right? So, you know, that, that's another story, different story for a different day. But the reason why is we have too many people with too many uh... Hello? I can't really hear most of what he's saying. Yeah, you're breaking up, see. Be get, somewhere where your, get somewhere where your connection is better or um, like we can't hear you at all right now. Yeah. Did you hear when, when I asked him the question, did he say something about Pan-Africanism being the reason why? Because I couldn't make out what he was saying. That's why I said I just wanted to be clear that he was saying that. I, I, I can't uh, really uh, hear. Uh, he, he was kind of low. See, are you still there? He's there. Yeah, everybody's he's, saying he's nice. it's low. Yeah, his mic is not um he's not in a good place. Come come back and finish your points. Yeah, he just left the chat, but um wow, okay. <laughs> can I can I can I just say something? I did I missed most of that because I got I had to take a call. So I missed the, the first part of when he came on. So I don't even I heard know a lot of it. That. Um but I just want to make this point. I really, really wish that people would stop blaming. And, and keep in mind, traditional Pan-Africanists or the people who call themselves Pan-Africanists, I got a problem with them, too. But that's that's another story. Mm -hmm. But don't blame Pan-Africanism for the reasons why we are not in a better position as a people here in America, because Pan-Africanism ain't running with the fucking globe in America. It never has. Integration is running with the globe. Right. And I want you guys not popular. popular. And I want you it guys to popular. take some fucking responsibility instead of using Pan-Africanism and culture consciousness as a fucking excuse. We don't oh, make up no vast majority of this goddamn demographic. So whenever I hear somebody say that, I automatically get heated. Take some responsibility, niggas. You're the reason why we are in this situation because people was listening to you. And also, and also let's add there have been plenty of times where Pan-Africanism has tried or attempted to work and you didn't show up to the plate. Where were these same African-Americans when the AFCFTA was first uh, up and running saying, shoot, they got a single African market. We need to be up there. We need to be moving to South Africa. We need to be in Nigeria. We need to be in Ghana. We need to be in Burkina Faso. Where were they? Where were these people when ECOWAS was being formed? Where were they? 
take some fucking responsibility, man. Take some responsibility. If you you control the narrative, everybody followed the integration route, and here we are. And notice, and notice why I know he said, Oh, that's a diversion. When I asked him that question, those two questions. Number one, why what indigenous group were we called? Because you say not all black people, black people here before Columbus. So I asked the question, what tribe? Do we call ourselves and what does it mean? And number two, why did you refer to yourself as black? Because Native Americans were not called black. They were called the color that I just said, which is why that term redskin was offensive. That's why they got rid of it. They were not called black skin. So also, why do how did you lose your language in the country of your origin? Hmm. How did you lose your language in the country of your origin? How? I just asked a simple question. I just asked a simple question because it doesn't add up. He's gonna, like, he's, he's okay, gonna, he's, he's gonna come back. I think, I, I think that, like, just to be more effective and not to make it a four-hour stream, just be really direct, you know, because it sounds like he believes that building in America first. Is what the goal should be. And he back, so, so I'm gonna let him talk. Speak for yes. Us. Yes. So we want you to clarify. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. So, see, before you no. speak, let, let me let me just say, I'll, I'll give you about a good two minutes because I don't want you to get a ramble where you lose us and the audience. So, just give us a good two minutes, starting now. One forty-four. Go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys are still breaking up, but. But, um, so I don't know how far, you know, how much of that you heard, but yeah, so there, there's a lot of reasons. And one of the things is because we all try to, we feel like we all, we all have to do this. This is not going to work. Right. I think there are different avenues to get to the same place. Right. Um, this is not going to work on the so See, see yeah. your audio. You're breaking. Mm -hmm. I can I can hear him. He's really low, but I can hear him. I can't. I can hear you, but he's really low. I can hear. I can't. I can't hear him. All I hear is I, I just hear like marbles. All right, hold on. Let me see. Uh, automatically adjust. No, it's not annoying. Yeah, I, and I so, can hear him. He's just really low. Yeah, I'm trying to see. If are I you could. still? Are you still there, C? Michael. See, you're there. He's just got a bad connection. Yeah. And it, it's not going to get any better unless he just goes to a completely different location. Yeah, if we can't hear him and the panel can't hear him, then nah, it ain't going to work out. Well, anytime um, what I was getting at, though, before he came back was that anytime somebody says that, like building in America, like it's it's a baseline understanding that that's what black people have been doing since they've been in America. No, like that's that's done. That's that's I'm, I'm, I'm talking about from the NAACP to the Black College Fund to all that other stuff literally is an attempt to build in America. No one is really interested in doing that. What building in America automatically transformed to is integrating with America, trying to be as close to white people as we can. True or false? We all could say that, that that's true. There is no all black schools te teaching black power, teaching to build a black system. There is no all, anything that's all black is just all black in name usually. <laughs> And also from HBCU from HBCUs to the Black College Trust Fund, like it's 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 not trying to position us to really obtain actual power in any sense. I I just need to also um um I also want to address your point about the building in America because people people keep talking about the, the this building in America mindset. Like we need to be, and you talk about we need to build satellite. If we can't build satellite communities, how are we gonna build in Africa? How are we gonna build a satellite community with no satellite? We we ain't got no satellites no, to begin. We, 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 we're not talking about a physical. We're not talking about a physical satellite. Just you know that. 
Right. No, I, I, know what, I know. I know. I know. I I know what you mean. I'm saying specifically. So have... How are you going to build satellite communities with no satellites? What is it going to be orbiting? What country is it going to be orbiting? These 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 satellite communities. So you're so see because you you're, you're looking at it from, you're actually looking at it from a Eurocentric view of what a nation is, right? A nation is an idea. It's not a physical place. Right, it's, it's it's an agreement of the people. That's wrong. Right? That, 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 that is that is absolutely what? Oh, oh come on, it's, man! It's, it's initially hey, hey. it's a collective. It, it, it's the basis of a nation is. Let a the brother get his thought out. Right. The 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 the, the foundation of a nation is a family. You have a groups of families that produce a clan. A group of clan that produces a tribe. A group of tribes that uh, um, produce a nation. Right, a nation. If you look historically, that's what a nation is, right? So, really, in America is a is a perfect example. It's an idea, all right. It never, it never. It, it's 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 not connected to a land or 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 an ethnicity, right? It's an idea. It's, and in this idea, if we change our mind, and we don't want to believe in tomorrow. That whole idea will go into the toilet, basically, right? Without you, you still have you know you have of course you have. Uh, police and military who can keep change, who can change that, who can stop that for a moment. But mainly, America is an idea, right? And that's any nation is an idea. So we don't have to orbit around something. We have a, we have 40 million people, right, that share a common background, right? We all don't have to move the same way. You can, I don't, it can, I don't care if it is a group of guys you play ball with every week, right? You can formulate communities based on that. You can formulate communities based on anything you want. Right, but you what you got to do is you you make a plan. All these plans, these grandiose plans, they're cool. Just scale it down a little bit. You know, work on every. If you just say, you know, all of us are going to develop side hustles. Oh, uh, um, okay. So I want to address a couple of your points. First thing, I want to give a shout out to um. What the hell? <laughs> I want to give. I want first. I want to give a shout out to the Johnsons family. Thank you so much. He brought two things. Uh, he said, anyone interested in buying land in Liberia, inbox him. Um, so shout out to the Johnsons family. If you can give him a highlight, that would be appreciated. But there, there are a couple things I want to address. This man said a nation is, is, is an idea. <laughs> it, it's not. Uh, uh, uh. So my question is, he said, you have a families and clans. They know who's in their nation. The nation is defined. It's a defined territory where they live. Okay, that's why a clan lives in an area. The clan is not scattered all over the place. You There's never not heard a of the Joe Biden clan. It doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> what clan is Joe Biden from? <laughs> I think he says that. No, no, seriously, I think he says that based on the frame of thinking that, like, black people being a nation within a nation of America. It's just an idea. It ain't real. <laughs> it ain't real. It is. No, seriously, though. He right about that. It is an idea. Here in America, it's just an idea. I ain't wow. making fun of him at all. Wow. He lost me, he lost me on that. Wow. Yeah, he said Don't, America do not bring is an him idea. Back in. Do not bring him he, back in. He said America is an idea. And not because he, you know, I, we don't want to hear what he has to say. I literally cannot hear anything that dude is saying. I don't know how you're saying y'all can hear him on a low level. I can't hear him at all. Yeah. All I hear is. Yeah, but he said, he said, he, he said, uh, America is an idea. Not, not uh, an ethnicity of people or a race of people. He said America is an idea. So if America was not predicated on race or ethnicity, why were black people enslaved? <laughs> I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty sure if America was an idea, I'm pretty sure all races would have been enslaved. That's because slavery was just an idea. <laughs> so for everybody listening to this, like y'all y'all might hear us like joking and laughing about it because this is literally conversations that we have had. Although we do take this shit really really serious, and the serious point here is that. Thinking that we can do this in America is 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 it's it, it it's not entirely an unhealthy thought, and it's not entirely an unintelligent thought. 
but you just have to really think about what you're saying here. We are completely up under the rule of somebody else. And, 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 and I mean that literally from legal to health, we don't run anything in America. And to say that we can be, and, and I mind you, I don't think that it would be impossible, but it's just too many of us that, that, that has the mentality that everything is already great here in America. Why would we want to build our own? And we don't really value collectivism like that. So the idea is that those of us who do understand the benefits of having power and being in control, among, like my brother, Big Bro Hollow will uh, say, like, who controls your water? Who controls your infrastructure? Who controls your electricity? Who controls your food system? And you think about that, and that's all the necessities of life. It's all ran by white folks. And then we, then we say, wouldn't it be nice if we controlled it? And the reality is, is that black people really don't desire to, man. I don't care what nobody say. At the end of the day, most black folks do not desire to have that kind of power and responsibility. So it's like, shit, I'm America fine here. Know. And also, straight and up, also, straight up. And also, Baruti made a great point. Um, Baruti made a great point. He said, a nation begins as an idea, usually with ideological specifics slash paradox, but eventually transformed into a geocultural space unless foreign physical resistance towards the in gathering slash attempt. Meaning a nation is a physical location. It's a physical space. And that's what I was asking him. He says a nation is an idea. Okay, in, in, in an abstract, yes. But how are we going to build satellite communities with no satellite? What, what are these satellites orbiting? Okay, when the satellite goes out into space, it's orbiting the planet. So you we're going to be... that literally. So you thought you, you meant that literally and not metaphorically. I literally said metaphorically. Because, I mean, <laughs> you, can, you can literally, anybody who can come with a proper social kid, I'm not assaulting him about that, but um, he says, so Africans control Africa? Yes, they do. Because it's African leaders that allow them to come in. African leaders right now, tomorrow, can just say, we don't want them to come in. That means you control it, okay? Mm -hmm. They make the decisions. Last time I checked, see, uh, see, what ethnic group, what race of people are the majority of the parliament? What are the what race of people are making the majority of the decisions in those countries? Black people. Now you can say what the intentions are. That's a different story. But black people are making those decisions. Because let's not forget. Look at what happened in Zambia. So so let, let's talk about what happened in Zambia. Zambia elected a new leader who's less corrupt. He's addressing the debt. He's addressing we need to redefine the loans. That's power. Africans, Zambians get to decide, uh, get to negotiate with China on restructuring of those loans. And you said they are debt leveraged. But guess what? Because they live in Africa, see, they have political power. Meaning, let's say, for example, China said, um, let's say African nations as a whole said, China, if you don't address this debt situation, we'll, give, we'll go to the West. You think China wants that? No, because that means it's going to be isolated. On the other hand, if America doesn't listen to Africa or the West doesn't, we can say, all right, China, Russia, you can come on in. That's leverage. You have power. You can now influence things. Things move. What? Tell can me I, right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And then I'll let you. I just want to ask you a question, Jabari. Um, he says that Africans um, are debt leverage. Yeah. <laughs> are, Af are African Americans debt leverage? Jabari? Mm-hmm. Are, are African Americans debt leveraged? Oh hell yes. <laughs> Have like we're the most uh, indebted group on in the country. And the why fuck? are we and why are we talking about control and what Africans control in Africa when you don't want to control anything in America? So when did control become some line in the sand for you? Also, also. Remember that remember that quote from that Filipino nationalist that I, I gave you holla. Yeah. Remember that remember that quote? Yeah. 
I remember it. This is crazy. I can actually uh, read it. Yeah, please read it. I want everybody in the chat, listen to this quote if you have not read it. I, I told Hold Up It, but he posted it on his community, but I want him to say it again so that people can so people can get it. Okay. I would rather have a country run like hell by Filipinos than a country run like heaven by the Americans. Because however bad a Filipino government might be, we can always change it. There you have it. Um, we are almost at the two hour mark. And um, this was definitely interesting. Are there any last thoughts or is there any other things that you guys wanted to touch up on? Yeah, um, the Johnson family, he's, he's, he's in the chat and he was talking about um, the, the year that he asked what he was talking about. He can help get land if we want to get land. So it's the Johnson's family. He said uh, 2021, the year that he asked for flight tickets are 1300. Um, he also tweeted. He also said that Liberia is the only country that allows dual citizenship without any preconditions. I can get you land in Bensonville, Monrovia. So that's what the Johnson's family said. So I just wanted to give him a shout out. Um, so I wanted to make sure I give him a shout out and we were aware of what he was bringing in the table. Um, so shout out to the Johnson's family again. Thank you for um, giving us that information. And like he said, if we want land, we can just uh, inbox it. So I just wanted to get that message out to him. Uh, out to everybody and to the members. Um, Miriam, we can tell you that um, in the in the in the in the in the group chat. Any other last thoughts, Jabari? Uh, no, that's it. Um, preparing for if you are a member for the um upcoming topic this Sunday or tonight. I should say. Oh, you have a topic? I, I thought it was going to be open discussion. Well, it, it can be open discussion if we wanted to, um, but we, we'll, we'll talk about it later off, 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 uh, off the live. But that's all I got to say. All right. Emoja? Uh, or holla. And Flock, I said he really liked that quote, Holla. He really likes that quote. It's the most accurate quote ever. Um, is Bruce Leroy in the BAIO? I don't think so. Bruce Leroy, could you type yes or no whether you're actually in the BAIO or not? Uh, I want to know. I guess the keyboard isn't working now. <laughs> uh, uh, um, oh, wait, now, now he asks, can he be in the BAIO? What? <laughs> is, that a, is that a joke? <laughs> uh, I'm serious. Is that a joke? Can you be in the BAIO? So the every freaking live stream we do where we post the link, I guess nobody sees that. <laughs> There's literally no link like in this, the description. This is, we do this it is, every video. This right here is an invisible font, right? This live stream might go on for another hour. <laughs> if, if, if anybody, if anybody could, could see what I just put in there, can you put a one if you've seen it before? Or is this <laughs> brand new to you? Oh, oh, stop. Everybody in the chat room, put a one oh. if you've ever seen that link before. Oh, no. Oh, man. Serious. I'm dead serious. Type one if you ever saw the link before. This is Are crazy. you fucking kidding me, man? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? 
I saw these people. Yo, I really try. I try as best as I can to keep it under control and not go completely fucking berserk on here. But it's stupid shit like this that makes me do that. You got to be fucking kidding me. You know what? Yo, you know what? No, I, I don't like being like this. So I'm gonna say <laughs> adieu. I'm gonna say peace because I don't. I don't want to end this on a bad note. All right. I'm. I'm. I'm I going to say. I'm going. I, last okay. Anyway. I just want to say a quick thing. I just want to say a quick thing. Uh, the Johnson family. I do not have any land yet. I'm thinking about doing that. Uh, we can have that discussion off. Um. Uh, off the live stream, but I would be interested in that. Um. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I know Holland was pretty upset. Uh, I mean, uh, but I I get it. This, this stuff happens. So um, wait, what do uh, where do you want me to inbox you at? Because I don't have a point of contact. So you would need to give me that. I would need like uh, an email address or um, uh, some sort of a way I could contact you, uh, the Johnson family. Um, that's all I would really need, and then I and then I'll send you one by the end of the day. I'll make sure I uh, contact you by the end of the day. Um, but yeah, um, I, I'm I'm fucking heated over here, man. How, please on. don't burn, please don't burn down the live stream, please don't, uh, please don't, please don't burn down the live stream. I know he's on fire. I know it's cold red. I know it's cold red right now, but um um. Well, we'll cool you off, okay? We'll cool you off. Will you just, just reserve that heat for another time? Just reserve um, that heat from another time. You, you good, though, Jabari, on your last thoughts? Because I'm, I'm yeah. just going to close it yeah. out. Okay. Yeah, I, I just wanted to make sure, like, he was able to, you know what, just, just, just email me, the Johnson family, just email me, and um, I'll um, get it to you. Or just follow me on social media and I'll get it to you. Um because we're we're about to Oh. Baruti says, uh, can you address Kisahili worldwide's comment? We've never tried to move to the same state and take over a state politics and economy. We haven't tried because I mean major I mean that one state would have to be essentially perfect. It's not like that one state could be, it would have to be perfect. It would be in the coast. It would have to be in the South. And then most importantly, you would have to say you're American at that point because there's no way you could take over one state and they not like try to stop secession from happening. That's just not feasible. But, um, but yeah, that that's all I would have to say. It, and is the state going to be our power base? Because mm. we're still under the federal government. The state government still fall under federal government. Now forget that. So are we going to put our state, our power, our base of operations inside of America? Or what exactly is the state going to be like? What's the purpose of doing that? For what? Because even. Even in that state, we don't control the infrastructure. We just live, we just make up the, you know, the numbers there. But we don't control the infrastructure. We don't control the bridges. We don't control the tolls. We don't control the highways and the roads. And remember, we don't control. And remember, you still got the Supreme Court. The gas happen. We don't control the irrigate. We don't control none of that stuff. So then what's the purpose? It's like we have black neighborhoods now. What fucking difference does it make? We dominate numbers here in Flatbush. This is not a black town or a black neighborhood right i swear i understand women more now than ever man <laughs> i really Whoa. do i understand them now more than ever because i am some fucking dipshit from the projects of brooklyn nobody should by all rights if we was in a sane world nobody would be listening to me because or everything have... you're saying, everything you're saying, the, the intellectuals would have already said. 
Right. We, 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 I wouldn't have to even be doing this shit. Or, or none of us would have to talk about this stuff if we had actual competent people in charge. Mm-hmm. Hey, the Johnson's family, can you send me your email or, or things so that I can uh, get in contact with you? Cause, or is that on your, on your channel? Because I, I just want to make sure I got a, a, a point of reference. Oh, hold on. Wait, aren't you a member of the BIO? Aren't you a member of the BIO? Yeah, the that's what I was gonna say. Just have them sign up to the thing. Everybody, that's our hub right there. Yeah, I'm about to say because if you're a member, if you sign up to the website, I can contact you there. So I'll, I'll check and see if you are a member because I think I've seen you. Uh, just as give a us member. your username, whatever his username is. Yeah, and, and and we can um. I just posted the invisible link, by the way. Way. Yeah, but just uh, yeah, I, I'll check and see if you are a member, and if you are a member, um, or please sign up so that we can allow you to be a member. Okay, he said he's a member, so I'm gonna go and um, and and, and look and um, yeah, okay, yeah, I, I'll check and see. I just need to know, make sure I know your name. Yeah, like he said, just make sure your um, we know your name. So that we can aside and contact you. That's all I need. I just need to know your name, and then that's it. All right. Um, can I, can I join? <laughs> on that note, oh, he says I'm a member who would like to join the lounge. Can anyone help me out? Underrated mind. Yeah. So okay, whoa, baby. Um, if you're a member of the BIO, you go to the uh, website and um, give us your username on the site. And um, underrated, and you the um link. Yeah, we gotta first find out if you actually post it. I didn't. I didn't realize that I was using invisible font. By the way, y'all, I apologize. It's just um, all good. It happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get that. Um, get that to un, um to him too. Uh, Africa Media Design Labs. Um. In order to, you have to be a member first in order to join the lounge. Uh, I, I, that's the and if you are a member, give them your um, username. Yeah, I about to say just give them your. I about to say just give us your your usernames or just give us your name so that we can go in and we can just give you everything that you need. Yeah, because first you need to if if you're a BIO member, the first thing you need to do is join us. Okay, so he is one, and then All we right. can give you. Yeah, so we got Woe Baby and Africa Media Design Labs. Yeah. So we can give them a link to the Signal Group and the um the Discord once they join up. Okay. And we just verify that they're actually members. I'm good. I'm good. I'm calm. All right. But um I'm not triggered. I'm not triggered anymore. <laughs> On that note. Yeah. Um, guys, this was a great topic. Taking my ball and going home. We need to get this individualism mentality out of our minds, folks. We got to realize we are better together. How did Seizure from Planet of the Apes say it? Apes together, strong. <laughs> but we're not apes. We are blackity black. We are. Uh, oh, Go um, ahead, Hollow. Underrated. Before you, when uh, you can end the live stream with everybody, but um, check your um the signal message. And the Johnsons family, because I was showing you. And the Johnsons family, hold on. Yeah, I, I'll go onto the website and I'll I'll probably just go onto one of your videos so and, and tell you whether or not. So just look out for that. I'll comment on one of your videos if um I don't find it. Um, I just wanted to let him know that that if I don't necessarily find it right now, um, I will just make a comment on one of your videos or one on your channel to let you know that that um that. But yeah, wait, hollow. You check check my signal from the what the personal chat or what? Yeah, the one that I sent directly to you. Oh, I did. Um, I don't see anything. Were you able to see the on the banners? Yeah. The same way that you put it up? Yeah. 
I was giving you something to copy and paste. Oh. You don't you didn't see it upload? No, I don't I see the, the overlay, yeah, that, but I'm talking about the, the scrolling banner. Okay, that I don't see. Like if you go to the, the, the same place where you saw the brand, above that should be banner. Okay. And then it has like um one of the options is scrolling, scrolling banner, and I think you have to click a box or something. I only see examples that they showed us, but I'm 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 where Yeah, you just replace them. Oh. Like if you click on it, um, uh -huh. you with, you know, copy and paste that thing that I sent you, and then it um, I think it asks you if you want to stroll in at the bottom. Um, has the live stream ended yet? No, not yet. No, no, no. we still we still on. <laughs> okay. Okay, could I do this after the live stream? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say I like. Can we do this after the live stream? I think so. You just you you can end the stream, but just don't leave the studio. All right, I'm not gonna leave the studio. But um, mm -hmm. as peace stated, everybody, peace everybody. This is the lounge. I mean, not the lounge, but this is the live stream. Uh, this goes on every Sunday, twelve in the afternoon. And if you guys are a member, um, we have our book club, which is also every Sunday at seven p.m. Blueprint for Black Power. Uh great discussions we are on chapter five i believe so tune in to that and also if you are a member we have something called a lounge which people state you know just great discussions and um please if you are someone that believes in black nationalism having a home in liberia where the where the african diaspora just has something to own you know, register to the BAIO. If you believe in land, infrastructure, and nationhood, please don't just like, comment, subscribe. Don't just share the message. Sign up to the website. Halep has, Halep has put it in, in the chat. I've put it in the chat numerous of times. It's free, okay? It's, 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 we're not, you know, charging you or anything like that. We just want people who are like-minded, just like us, to join and collaborate. And let's get this thing rolling. That's all. But other than that, peace and blessings, everybody. We will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Happy Sunday. Peace. So you ended.